Hi, just wanted to do a second channel video, take a look at uh, Vegas. It's not Sony Vegas anymore, it's just Vegas after it was bought out by Magix uh, Software. It's just the video editing software that I use. Now, they've actually released a new version, uh, 15. Here it is. I was using version 14. Um, I just um, I realized it today. Apparently, it's been out for a couple of months. So I just wanted to have a quick look just at rendering because uh, there doesn't seem to be a huge amount of new features uh, that are appealing to me. Um, but they do mention uh, hardware acceleration as one thing. And I've done videos on hardware acceleration before and how it doesn't work based on my particular video types and workflow and editing thing. and. E no, it's a huge complex can of worms and everyone who just thinks, oh, hardware acceleration is better there's a lot more subtlety to it than that. Anyway, it is not, it has never been better on Sony, uh, well, on Vegas, because Vegas, uh, before, hardware acceleration's been quite poor. It's only supported one particular type of chipset, uh, for example, and I've actually got, in my machine at the moment, I've actually got the best video card, the Radeon R9290, I think it is. Uh, which is the best and fastest chipset that supported the hardware acceleration in the previous version of uh, Vegas, and it did it actually slowed my rendering down because um, mine is basically mostly CPU uh, intensive or whatever. It it did not basically work, so I just wanted to uh, uh, have a try now. Apparently, the new version 15 of Vegas supports NVIDIA cards, NVIDIA only. So let's have a look at it. Here's version 14. I still got uh, both versions um, installed here, and uh, they've changed the look and feel like a back background. You can change the templates and all that, but it's, it looks, you know, a few little things down here have changed and whatnot. I don't know. I literally have just started uh, having a play around with this thing. There we go. So this all looks slightly different, but the look and feel is all very, very similar. So it doesn't seem to be any problems at all, but I just thought I'd do some rendering tests. Now I know the screen capture actually slows this down. So I just did a quick test before this and it does seem to be faster without the Nvidia card. I am using just the CPU render alone. Um, it seems to be quicker. So if I actually go in here and I've got what what I've got here is my 20 minute long, precisely 20 minute long, flaming PSU video here. And I'm going to, if I render as, here we go, uh, these are the new formats. The option here, they've now added some Magix ones here, Magix AVC MP4. They've actually done away with the main concept AVC option, but it's actually, they've just re really renamed it. It's now called the Magix AVC MP4. Um, and I'll show you that in a second. So I've actually created the template that I actually use to render here. And, um, well, there's two ways I've done rendering in the past. Where I've been, more recently, I've been rendering directly to MP4 from uh, Vegas and not using the uh, separate handbrake step, but I've basically been using an average bitrate of 12 megabits per second with a for, for my high frame rate videos, my 50 frames per second videos, and a maximum of 28 megabits per second because that's what I my camera records at. So there's no point having higher than that. So I've been doing 12, uh, and you can see it's got main concept down here. So they're still actually using the main concept codec, but uh, they just renamed it Magix or whatever. Anyway, so that's the same rendering uh, settings I've been using recently. Um, the audio with the uh, 48 kilohertz um, and 192, everything's hunky-dory. So color space, uh, video, well, we want best, don't we? Yeah, uh, we don't care about that, whatever. Anyway, um, if we run that, and I'll render to my render drive, which is a faster hard drive. No, the solid state drive does not make a difference. Okay, um, it's the CPU, the intensive CPU is uh, it was the bottleneck there. So I can actually render that. And this is a exactly as I said, a, an exactly 20 minute video. And it could, uh, of course, my screen capture could easily be um, slowing this uh, down. 
somewhat. But uh, I was doing it before, and it looks like it's going to render in about 25 minutes. So I didn't let it go all the way, but based on the approximate time left, which is reasonably accurate once it starts calculating, um, about because I've got the same content pretty much throughout. Uh, so, oh, high, high CPU usage detected <laughs> on my XSplit encoder, but I'm not dropping any frames, so it's good. Um, and this is my dual Xeon rendering machine, by the way, the E, what is it? Here we go. You can go in here and, whoa, look at this. Uh, 30 frames per second, uh, E, 88% CPU, it's my E5 2680 V2. I've got two of those processors, um, and more than enough RAM. So, anyway, RAM is not a, uh, it doesn't use a huge amount of RAM. And, uh, as you can see, I've got an R9 200 uh, processor, uh, sorry, GPU, um, and it's only like using like 18% of that, because we're not GPU rendering. We are not GPU rendering at this stage, as far as I'm aware, because I don't have the new NVIDIA. So as you can see, yeah, it's a bit slower, 28. But it was showing about 25, and if I do the exact same thing, exact same render on version 14 with all the CPU uh, stuff, then it actually, uh, here it is, I can see how just render like that. It actually was 35 minutes, so it looks to be about... 10 second, 10 minutes quicker just on CPU, just my regular CPU rendering with uh, Radeon R9 card on just my 50 frames per second using that Magic's main concept codec. So there seems to be an improvement there, and I haven't even put in my in the best NVIDIA card. I got a lot of people will laugh, but the best one I've got is the um, GTX 750 Ti. So it's only got a pass mark rating of like. 3700, but I, I might whack that one in. So I've got to uh, open up the machine or restart everything, install a new video card, and I might give it a try. So I'll come back as you can, yeah, we can let this go, but it does seem to be just off the bat quicker. Beautiful. Version 15 for the rendering that I do. The particular type of the AVC CHD source material that I've got, the type of editing I do, the output file format, everything else. So that is a worthwhile um, improvement, I think. Yeah, there we go. We're way over 30 now. You can see, yeah, it was 28 before, and now it's still it's still climbing. This is the exact same under identical conditions, the exact same bit rate, everything else, saving it, writing it to the same render drive. Same source material, everything, same project. See? Yeah, 35. There you go. So it seems quicker. Beautiful. Um, so now I'll go and install the video card, the NVIDIA one. I know it's not great, but I'm just curious to see um, if it makes any difference. And if it does, because it's always been slower. So if this turns out to be a, maybe a little bit quicker or on par, I know, okay, it's doing something. And maybe I can go out and buy a high-end NVIDIA card, perhaps, but I don't expect uh, miracles. But they say they've improved the hardware rendering, so they seem to have just improved the rendering in general. I don't know whether or not it's using... It doesn't seem to be using my GPU, as I said, because uh, the GPU's only rocking, uh, even though I have got it... Well, don't know if it's enabled in the settings. Advanced micro devices, there you go. So I do have GPU acceleration on... It still supports the uh, the Hawaii chipset there on my AMD GPU, so it still supports that. Um, so whether or not that's actually slowing it, no. But I've got that enabled on both, so they're identical. They're identical. So that is an apples to apples comparison there, and it seems quicker. So beauty. Going to go install this video card. See what happens. And as it turns out, that took a lot of effort because I changed the video card. It caused all sorts of problems, which I've never had before on my Windows 7 machine. I just had upgraded the other day to Windows 10 on my editing machine here, and I was having a few issues before that, and this just compounded the issues. Turns out I had to do a complete nuke from orbit, and it's the only way to be sure, and reinstall Windows 10 from scratch. So um, I've now... Um, just finished uh, my from scratch uh, machine. It's it's basically it's hardly anything set up at all. But I do have Vegas uh, 15 now installed, and it's rendering 
and I've now got the N NVIDIA card in there, the GTX uh, 750 card, as you can see. There it is, GTX 750 Ti. Um, it's going at 100%, and I am using the new NVIDIA driver. I'll show you in a minute, and it seems to be better than real time. So you saw before it was taking... Uh, Oh, I can't remember what it was taking before, but anyway, it was. Um, it's now faster. It's. I've had it going for a while, and it's estimating like it's under 20 minutes for the 20 minute final video. So it's better than real time, um, so to speak, which is excellent. Um, and of course, I've got to check the quality and everything's fine and hunky dory. But you'll notice, you notice that down here, you can see that it's. Uh, oh, Silly mouse, I think the battery in it's loose. Um, you can see that it does, it's not a consistent thing. It seems to batch the, it does a burst of frames. There you can see the frame rate counter, a burst of frames. Um, I'm not sure how many uh, frames, I don't know, 50 or something frames. Uh, it could be one second worth. And it's obviously jumping, dumping that to the GPU. The GPU is doing its processing and returning it back, then it dumps another lot, something like that, um, which it doesn't do on the other codec. So anyway, so this seems to be working really well, and I've only got a pretty low-end card in there in by today's standards, the GTX 750 Ti. It's, I believe it's one of the better performance per watt cards. So um, they're like in, in that sort of thing, I believe it's very popular in the Boink uh, community, for example, which is a performance, you know, obsessed with performance per watt. But if we have a look at the... Uh, at the uh, Magix AVC codec down here, let's go in and have a squiz. We now actually, with the NVIDIA card, we actually get an extra option down here. So here's the NV encoder. So that's the NVIDIA encoder, the new one that they've added in there. Um, so it seems to be working great. And of course we can uh, do the main concept uh, one here. So I've got all the same settings I had before, 28 megabits, 12 meg average, peak, 12 meg average, etc, etc. And we can run that again, and you'll notice that uh, there's no burst in any more of the frames, really. It's pretty much uh, continuous, and it's basically maybe a little bit slower than what it was before, um, I think, from memory. But uh, anyway, it's, it's on par with what we got uh, before with the... Um, uh, well, that's probably because we've changed the video card. It's still doing some G, probably still doing GPU because it's enabled in the options of uh, Vegas, but it's not using the NVIDIA encoder specifically. So, you know, I, I don't know what it's uh, doing there. But anyway, um, yeah, so that's on par. So the NVIDIA option seems to work, seems to be faster. So I, I think I'm probably going to get a higher-end NVIDIA card uh, for this machine and, and see what happens because that hardware acceleration, they now seem to have seem to have fixed it because I've never been able to get better than real-time rendering before with uh, hardware acceleration. And I had the best... Here it is for those playing along at home. I had the best, um, uh, you know, uh, NVIDIA card you could actually get. There we go. Had the best, um, well, sorry, the best Radeon card that the old version of Sony actually uh, supported, and that's the R9 uh, something or other. Anyway, um, yeah, the R9 270 or 290 or something. Yeah, I had a kick-ass, like this is a real kick-ass card apparently compared to, or it was, uh, compared to the one I've got in there now, but the new NVIDIA encoder seems to be doing the business. So... Yeah, I might be. I might actually start for once, start using hardware uh, encoding. So I'm pretty happy with that. There you go. Um, the hardware acceleration. They've changed a bit of the look and feel. I haven't used this new version 15 in anger yet to actually edit anything. Um, but yeah, I'll give it a go. But yeah, I think I might get myself a new card. Recommendations? Down below. I, yeah, they'll... People recommend like a thousand dollar card or something ridiculous like that. Um, you know, best bang per buck card above the GTX 750 Ti, please, because I'm a tight ass. Anyway, catch you next time.